Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to prepare a pig's kidney. Now, I'm gonna be using this for a future project. So I'm gonna be dicing it up and packaging it. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do that and clear out some of the gubbins on the inside. It's, uh, it's an odd piece of meat. Not a lot of people use it. I think it's gone out of fashion over the years. I love kidneys. I think they can make some fantastic uh, charcuterie. Deviled kidneys is fantastic. And steak and kidney pie is absolutely sublime. If you've never had a steak and kidney pie, I'm gonna do one for the channel this autumn. Watch out for the video. I'm sure it'll be great. Don't forget, if you like the video, please do give us a like, subscribe, click the bell icon for new content as we upload it. And um, if you've got any comments, please do leave them in the comments section of the video. I do always try and respond to all the comments. And um, yeah, please comment. Anyway, in the meantime, let's get on with the video. Pig's kidney. Right, the first thing I like to do whenever I get my kidney is to take it out of the packet. Now, I got this one from Hockey's Farm down in Fording Bridge in Hampshire. I was buying some other meat for a later project, but um, he threw this in for me because I do like a bit of kidney. And um, it's a pig's kidney. This is how they come if you buy them from the butchers. You can get them already diced and prepared. They always have a little slice in there to check for any abnormalities when they're butchering the animal after it's been slaughtered. This is all the gubbins that we want to remove. And um, I'll take you through that whole process now. So the first thing that I try and do is to slice this through sort of halfway, just like that. And then you can open it up. And so we want to try and remove all this white stuff from the center. So we've probably gone a little bit heavy on one side. So we sort of, this is pretty much okay. I mean, it's acceptable to have a little bit of white here. We'll, we'll remove some of this, but this is okay. So we want to try and remove the main bulk of this. So I'm going to go in again and just see if I can use the knife. I might go in with a slightly smaller, more flexible knife. Just makes life a little bit easier. I'll try and do it so the camera can pick it up. If you look in there, you'll see all that white sinew. This is what we want to remove. So if you're going to be making something like a devil's kidney, um, you might want to use lamb's kidneys for that. I, I do like um, pig's kidneys because they've got a bit of a punch to them. But uh, traditionally, you'd find the majority of people would be using lamb's kidneys for a devil kidney. Um, if you go on the video, if you go on all my videos on YouTube, you'll see that there is a devil kidney there. Uh, I do make that with a pig's kidney an underused piece of uh, charcuterie, I think. We need more things like this. Okay, so we just wanna get underneath some of this white sinew. And if you use a nice flexible knife, it's reasonably easy to pierce underneath some of that. I'll try and do it so the camera can see what I'm doing. There we go. So that's what we want to sort of remove. So we'll remove the remainder of this. There we go. That's pretty much everything that we want to remove from there. There's a few little bits of kidney on there which I'll harvest. Don't want to waste any of this. So kidneys are one of those pieces of charcuterie that not many people kind of use nowadays. I think it's a, a real shame because it's a very flavoursome piece of meat. We should be using more stuff like this. I mean, it shows respect to the animal as well if you're gonna be using these pieces of meat because, you know, obviously it all costs money 
and uh, it's actually quite tasty and I don't think you can top something like a steak and kidney pie. Um, steak and kidney pies are absolutely delicious. And, uh, if you've never had one, I urge you to give it a go. I might even do one for the uh, channel. In fact, let's do that. Let's turn this into a steak and kidney pie. I was considering deviled kidney, but I've already done that for the channel. So if you want to go and check that video out, that is on there. So that's good enough for me. What we want to do, we're going to do a steak and kidney pie. We want a nice dice. Just take a few of the sinews out from here. That is our pig's kidney done. Next thing I'm going to do with this is uh, just pop it in a vacuum bag so that we can store this. I'm going to freeze this down. I'm not going to make this kidney, uh, steak and kidney pie in the next uh, week or so, so I just want this to stay in the best condition it can. And to do that, we'll just pop this in the freezer. We'll get that backed up, and that's it. Pig's kidney diced, cleaned, ready to go for our steak and kidney pie when we come to do the video.